Good afternoon. We welcome you here at the University of Bern. I'm very happy that so many so interesting people are here and have found to Bern, to the University of Bern. I'm excited to welcome especially Richard Stolm again here after six years to have him back at the University of Bern. And um, we, I think we will have a very interesting afternoon. So let me just make a brief introduction. Who is organizing the event? This is our research center for digital sustainability. We do research about free software and free data and free government and ICT procurement and many other interesting things. And uh, we organize events such as the event today or other events together with other organizations. The next one will take place in two weeks about blockchains, for example. And other organizations who are helping us organizing today's event are the Free Software Foundation Europe. This is the, um, the European chapter of the Free Software Foundation. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. Oh, it's not. It's a separate organization. Okay, it's a separate organization, but uh, affiliated. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then we, there is uh, Parl Dicky. Uh, PARDIGI is the Parlamentarische Gruppe Digitale Nachhaltigkeit, a parliamentarian group for digital sustainability, supporting and promoting free software in the national parliament and in cantonal parliaments and regional parliaments, and also promoting open gov uh, free government and other um, interesting uh, trends, and basically doing the lobbying part of the movement. Then there is CH Open, um, CH that's just the name. So, <laughs> and uh, this is the Swiss Open Systems User Group, existing since 30 years and more. Um, this is an organization you can become a member of, especially as a student. You only pay 20 Swiss francs a year. And, of course, also companies are very welcome. They help us also funding such events like this one today. Then we have Wilhelm Tux. This is the very nice GNU Linux penguin over there. And... Um, Ah. Really, there should have been a GNU on here. <laughs> you shouldn't, turn it off because there shouldn't be a penguin without a GNU. Okay, but just advance, please. yeah, in a second. But then there's the GNU Linux user group in Bern also. But as you, as Richard correctly pointed out, there should be GNU also. Okay, <laughs> okay. this one is. Um, the company who is actually kindly sponsoring the APRO after the speech. Uh, it's a very traditional free software company from Bern and um, uh, doing uh, services for um, other corporations or uh, public institutions and also is it very interested in hiring smart free software people. I would like to um, give just a very short hint back in history. Six years ago, Richard Stallman came to University of Bern uh, for the first time and he visited us with a great speech and afterwards we actually did a demonstration. A protest. A protest. So when Richard approached me with his wish, I was a little bit confused because he wanted to protest against the Bern Convention installed in 1840 or 84, I think. 18, seven, like the 19th century. So why not? I actually hand in the application at the, min, uh, at the government, so when I get a, um, the permit to actually do a, a legal protest. And we actually went uh, protesting with the Pirate Party to the um, Weisenhausplatz and also to the Federal um, Palace. So this was a very interesting um, memory, but it actually, I realized only later that He's very right with the idea about the Bernese Convention being a problem. Uh, but I think you will explain later why this is a problem. Now, what I really like um, is the persistence of Richard Stallman actually um, being here already um, since over 30 years and um, having his ideas and thoughts with him and bringing it all over the world. And this, I think, is very uh, great to have someone like him um, around us. Now, um, since 
since back in, six years ago, we actually also had some successes here in, on, in politics. So that's the good news. City of Bern really seriously tests if they can leave Microsoft and other um, companies of proprietary software. So there is currently a project being started on actually doing a proof of concept stopping um, using Microsoft in the city government. So I think, it, it, but this also took us four years of lobbying in the city parliament. So it's not 30 years, but, uh, but still four years is quite the time. And I suggest you also, if you do uh, lobbying and if you um, pursue your ideas, be persistent and continue working on your thoughts. There is a little difference between Richard and, and, and myself concerning the words. So, um, as you know, he's promoting free software. We have in Switzerland a platform called opensource.ch, which is um, promoting the idea of open source. The difference will be explained later by Richard. And then there's also a directory of companies. If you need support with free software, you can go there and get support. Now. It's good to have a, a support directory. No, no, don't. But don't show open source activities in my talk. Okay. Please <laughs> not. So, but now I stop talking and would like in to fact, over. you shouldn't have presented that. Okay, I'm sorry. You really shouldn't have. I don't want people to think I'm a supporter of open source. I worked very hard to teach people that is not so. Open source is a totally different idea. I will say only a little about it to tell you how different it is. No. It is a confusion that is, oh, can you find that plug? Absolutely. Thanks. So I hand over, thank you very much for being here and we are excited to hear your talk.